for most people, I would imagine love is the greatest value. That once they detect it, they will do whatever it takes to get there. At least that's what they dream about. What I dream about is when I have an exit, a doorway from bullshit. That's just going to be like heaven to me. Like I would do whatever it takes to run away from bullshit. I'll invest as much as possible. I'll talk to as many people as possible. You know, I'll do as much work as possible. But like, clearly I can't do it right now, right? I'm still sinking into bullshit and I'm stacking it. And on top of the mountain, now I'm adding another layer. This is a big thing. Phone calls are bullshit. But it's not something people want to admit or stop using. You know, the NPCs will never stop using their things, like phone calls and guns and whatever they think. Fucking sex all over the place. I don't know, bro. You can come up with any NPC behavior and it's probably like driving cars even. That's an NPC behavior, bro. That I can't keep up with. And they don't want me to keep up with them. They just want to live their life of nonsense and bullshit. Where I, can, I can't reach to their level. Because I'm not settling down with their bullshit. Some of them drink a lot. Play lottery. Get, get into fights. You know, or just naturally just annoying people. And there's not much to learn from them. And it's always a question mark, why do they behave this way? With phone calls, it's the same fucking thing. Like, I receive so many people into Discord, and their instinct is to ask for a phone call with me. You know, people who come here. They're just like, can we, can we not have a conversation by message? Can we just call each other? And my answer is no. No, I am not desperate, unfortunately. I'm not desperate, so we're going to have to slow down. You know, the only thing you will do with desperation is jump into bullshit. Much quicker, you know, get yourself in a lot more trouble than you already are. I'm trying to slow things down because they're already still too fast. Like, even de depression feels fast. Of how, uh, like, you have to run away from it. You have to keep doing things. But more of, like, slowing down the depression. Because you have to keep on, like, buying food. Keep on doing things to survive. Keep on interacting with people. Keep on dealing with fucking shitty neighbors. And shitty authorities. And all that fucking crap. It's a lot of fucking work, because it doesn't slow down. It just is bullshit, and it almost gets worse over time. Almost. I'm doing whatever it takes to slow things down. So I can at least enjoy life. As abnormal as it is. But NPCs are not slow. They're desperate to do things as quickly as possible, and phone call is substantially faster than, you know, a message, right? However, it's not better. And that's the worst part. Messages are better. Over phone calls, all the way through in every single effect. The only thing phone calls have is like, you can do it faster. But again, if you're not doing it correctly, what's the point of doing things faster, right? I see people not doing things correctly, so I'm like, shit. I know I'm the only one who can make good phone calls. I'm the only one who can actually speak to people properly. I still will not develop the skill because I don't want to. Because I don't, I don't see people doing things correctly anyways. So I'm in the waiting mode, you know. I want to wait. I want to slow things down by force until I see people doing correct things and I will be more confident 
to embrace that, to be like, yes, an introvert can give you a phone call, congratulations, you win. But for people to win that shit, they're gonna have to work real hard. They're gonna have to prove that they can actually send messages first. That they can do the better thing in a proper manner. Because eventually every conversation leads into dead ends. Where I have to sacrifice one person from that conversation, which is not me. You know, you just gotta sacrifice to a volcano. It's like it's over. Like, imagine, like, you get a phone call. What do you do? You have to cut the phone call in some awkward moment because it will be awkward. I have way too many feelings, you know. And if I feel bored, alone, just bored, I will have to end the phone call. So what the fuck's the point of establishing the connection when anything can just throw me off? Anything at all. That's, it's not easy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's not easy to justify this, this thing at all. It's just, again, there's a lot of really fast NPCs who want to do things really fast. They want to have cars. They want to drive from one place to the other really fast, as if it's meaningful somehow. They even want to travel the world. Wow, so fucking cool. They want to get to their workplace and get as much money really fast as possible, bro. Not asking any questions. It's just like establishing themselves. They're just following rules really fast. Because that's what you can do. You can only follow rules really fast. And one of the biggest rules is if something bad happens, call the police. You know, the most essential and the most bullshit thing in life. This is where it all begins to crumble down. You know. Who are you gonna call Ghostbusters, bro? Apparently the most common reason why police gets called, at least in Europe, is noise. Oh, wow. So, they're very well equipped at dealing with noise, right? Nope. Nope, they're not. I've saw it firsthand. They're just not. They can only, like, give you a fine to pay. A punishment. That's it, bro. They're not gonna solve the dispute of, like, this is a noisy person and he has to be taken care of. They can't even, like, properly issue fines because I cannot properly just call them because calling police for noise is still kind of fucking cringe. I'm not gonna lie, bro. There has to be a special fucking force for that. Police is like, catch criminals, something really bad happened. Like, there's different levels to that. Whoever you call, like, would respond differently. And you want police to respond very fucking quickly. You just tell them the location and the, a general thing that's going on, right? And then just come in. But with noise, with some detrimental thing that keeps occurring and some people are just being disrespectful like, you, you, like it's a completely different subject bro it's a completely different matter like, yeah. this is where murderers spawn by the way pure disrespect it's, it's the worst thing you can leave untouched but here it is and guess what else causes noise phone calls too also cause noise and annoyance like you don't want to necessarily receive phone calls if you can't quite handle them you know you never know who's gonna call you maybe this is gonna be a scammer mm. so you hope that after establishing connections after Collecting all the phone numbers, you're gonna know who's calling. But it's just so old school as well. Like, this established system is so pathetic now. Because it's fucking old. 
And it's just like, it keeps on stacking of like, can we just get rid of bullshit? Because it's rotting in front of my eyes. It's useless now. I will be able to call police any moment when I feel threatened. But when I have nothing to actually express of like, there's no real like, life threatening problem that anyone can fucking detect of like, my, I'm being attacked by an alligator. Like, I won't be able to explain that to them. So what am I supposed to do? Right? It's so fucking stupid. And they're just gonna collect data of like, yeah. Yeah, right. Surely you're trained to handle small problems because small problems are way bigger than the big problems. The big problems are obvious. They're bubbles to pop. You know, you just force. Shoot some bullets into bubbles. That's a big problem. A small problem is like a fucking marble. That you have to collect and collect and collect data after data and stash them together to understand what the fuck is going on, right? And how to tackle a problem. A police cannot fucking do that. They're not communicating with me. They're not asking questions. They just want to like come in and go come out. So what the fuck's the point? Call who? You know? Talks how? How do I talk, right? How do I express this? And then this, what do I call now, right? I have to fucking call higher level authorities than police because I am concerned that I have nobody to fucking call anymore. It's fucking bullshit, right? And then you keep the leveling up because call the manager of a manager into a manager, bro. Yeah, keep leveling up until you get to that point where, like, it's a respectable person on the other line of the ends. I think there's none of that. I think I can't reach that anymore. This is why I just wait for normal conversations with messages. Because messages are instant. There's not letters anymore, bro. It's not emails. It's instant. Back and forth is just as good as a fucking phone call. If not better, because you have ability to respond whenever you want. You can take breaks. You can do whatever it takes, you know, to keep the conversation alive. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You just must not kill the conversation without a stupid reason. When you have so much freedom, it's fucking liberating. It's much better than a phone call or just sometimes even direct confrontation with a person face to face. That can make uncomfortable situations too because you want to like send as much information as possible this is the fucking best move you can make in life i was so satisfied by using this service that we have learned exists now you know because technology guys but not everyone can keep up like, YouTube ha like, Europe has to eradicate the goddamn phone call system, the, the SIM cards and all that shit, bro. It has to be eradicated, destroyed. Like, we have to burn books at this point. Again. To escape dark ages, we have to burn shit to the ground. Get rid of technology that doesn't benefit us at all, but people are still stuck using it for whatever reason. So funny enough, I have pretty much talked about everything, right? But let me show you something, a comment that I've made. Bro, actually has more dislikes than likes. Consider taking the video down and I've heard this fucking NPC bullshit of like, oh my god, we have so much power. So much power. To do what? Exactly. Remove my video? Like, what, what are you gonna fulfill? There's such a desperation for power. Such a manifestation of insanity, bro. Across the internet. It's like, wow, we have so much influence, and it's negative influence, and it's fucking useless.
And no one's going to bow down to that if they have common sense. No one's going to bow down to in negative influence, bro. Yeah, do you want an alarm clock for yourselves, guys? Phone calls are painful, bro. For me. And I, you know, you can suck it up and, like, just, just do the damn thing. But it's still painful. Because of the same thing. You can get rejected. You can get mistreated. It's too fast. Not enough information or clarity gets exchanged. People rely on it way too much. What the fuck's the point? Everything stacks against the Funkin' phone calls and people are still desperate to do just that. As if they're gonna grab some information that they have never had before. That is fascinating to me. But at least most of them I am able to convince to not ask me that. You know, to not ask me to drag me in. Like, I want to do other things at the same time. I can write you a message when I, I'm taking a breath. You know, fresh air. When I'm taking a break. I can message you, you know. We can hang out. Maybe I'm making a video, right? Fucking phone calls. I can't even imagine, bro. People who have to deal with it. Deal with phone calls. That is insanity to me, bro. You have to literally just turn off your brain and just be like, well, whatever happens, I'll do the best I can. You know. So after I got triggered by this overwhelming negativity, I'm like, well, I'm more negative. So I'm like, when I rob a person, or you rob a person, you don't want them to like you. You know, you just don't want them to be able to call police. That's, that's it. That's the whole point. So I have to make such a confusing situation where they can't really just call police and solve anything. Right? They can't just get me in trouble. They can't just call authorities, YouTube authorities, and destroy my entire channel because I criticized someone and got dislikes. Oh, wow. How fucking cool is that? You know? If only public has had the ability to remove videos just like that. Back in the day before I was a creator myself, yeah, it felt like it's it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. For very disliked videos to not exist. Because they're very disliked. But when you follow principles, it's a little bit more uh, obvious that it's not true. Most importantly, again, my mentality is always wrong because, like, everyone's gonna agree to something. But they won't be able to, like, quite control it or debate it. They're just gonna agree to some kind of feeling. And mob themselves into a group of people. Seeking for power. And what are you gonna do that with that power? It's too, way too easy to be negative with that power. Way too easy to be destructive and pathetic, basically. And everyone is in the moment. Like, it's so simple, right? But what's the point of disliking someone you don't know? You don't even know me. But, but my favorite thing was attacked, so I, of course I have to dislike it. It's besides the point, right? Because we're talking about phone calls. But we're also talking about speed in which NPCs operate. They operate in ridiculous speeds. They're controlled by feelings, after all. And it's pretty big deal. Knowing how to slow down, and maybe phone calls are going to be the key in understanding how to slow down. Because of course they are. The f a another thing that stacks on phone calls is the evidence part. It's very difficult to collect evidence now if you just call. Like, phone call actually embodies a way to slow things down simply because, like, you might not want to encounter a person 
you ask them to send you a message. Instead, you try to keep distance. You can establish that with a person. They have to be respectful in that sense and to communicate properly. So what police can actually do is establish communication or force communication between people. While at the same time criminalizing antisocial behavior. I want to get a, pro a proper, right, uh, negotiation in the end between people. Because that's the way to escape bullshit. That's the most exciting thing. Negotiation. There's a hope that I can give you something you want in exchange of getting rid of bullshit in my life. Holy motherfucker shit, bro. It's unbelievable. Negotiation. Haven't started yet. I don't have enough power to uh, put someone through that process yet. It's tough. But I'll keep digging, whatever it takes, to just show what I, I care about the most. Yeah, on TikTok you get to hear people talk about, like, you shouldn't be calling me unless it's an emergency, bro. And even then, you shouldn't be calling me. Because I'm not supposed to respond to emergencies. So basically, stop fucking calling me. That is the sentiment on TikTok all the way across. It's just crazy, right? This thing is crazy that people are throwing at each other left and right, but like, it's not that useful. It doesn't help us that much as you, you would think. Like, you think we're doing things faster, but like, do we really have to do it at all? You can hardly understand or have a moment to think. Of what to say. Like everything is out of control. It's like for the most well trained athletes, you can make phone calls. If you're very, very well trained, you have conversations. I don't, I don't know, bro. YouTube, making a YouTube video like this, even that's not a phone call. I have a pause button, my friends. That's very essential. I have ability to just discard the entire video if I don't feel comfortable about it. A phone call is just gonna like be there just like that. It'll be how it is. It's crazy. Will always remain a, a memory and not much else. Like a dream. A dream device, bro. And well. SIM cards are now uh, incredibly dangerous. You know, two-step authentication has been compromised. Simply because this is uh, old and rotting nonsense that, you know, you have phone providers. When I said phone for providers, I'm like, that's a real word. That's like a, re a real word. Maybe carriers is a little bit better, but it's even worse for me. It's so fucking weird. So you have this shit that you have to deal with. Haven't we learned to use apps yet? No, because it's not universal. Oh, no. Well, take away authorities. Take away power from the authorities who fucking use phones. Because we can do so much better now. We can interact with messages like hordes print documents for a reason. They don't just print phone calls. Or make phone calls. Instead of, like, actually assembling a court, like... We have documents, we put documents together, and that's the, the whole gameplay of court and finding justice, bro. We print a bunch of documents, print a bunch of verdicts. We can't just like, oh, court has ended, let me fucking give you a phone call what the court has decided. We send the fucking documents, so you know, and you can read the entire thing, 
and not lose yourself you know you you have it you own it you own the information that's the whole fucking point someone throughout my life even has been able to put me in an uncomfortable situation where they type in messages and i'm on a phone call how how did they manage to do it it's fucking fascinating bro but that can happen too Actually, it happened multiple times, and it's, it's kind of fucking weird. Sometimes I do that on other people. I put them on a phone call because they want it so badly. And I just write messages instead. I would imagine. I I don't remember exactly. I feel like I was, I was the one interrogated, basically. The most successful phone call I've had in my life was through Minecraft when you have to co-op with other people to be able to uh, do much better than the, the solo players it's just a Hunger Games situation where if you co-op with other people you're more likely to win much much more likely and that's it and then you strategize with them like play a game that's a phone call to play a game it's not stressful it's not crazy you just say a bunch of facts of what's going on say what your strategy what you're thinking would be effective what items you're receiving and that's it bro if you're in danger you know like you keep the connection because you can always be in danger that was the best fucking phone call experience. That's something that made sense. But when nothing is really intense, we should be able to put ourselves down and just have an experience of messaging each other. But no one wants to commit to that. NPCs want to act like super, super mana. Who are super fast to do whatever it takes, man. Except, like, there's there's thing called streamers who also receive messages and not phone calls. Funny enough, you know, it's just weird. I wonder how is that comfortable for them not to be able to receive phone calls. That's crazy, man. How did they survive for so long? It is notorious how many people use phone calls as a scam at this point in in many ways multitude of ways now or just prank calls and all like no one's taking it seriously like okay you can respect your stupid phone calls but you gotta respect messages too where do i send information because through a phone call is just so stupid and it's also like it's deterring a, a lot of people from just expressing their concerns or information that would be like very useful. Like last night, there's some fucking bullshit going on that probably is going to be unreported. At any moment, like someone can raise their ego and be like, oh, I'll just gonna infinite, just make a lot of noise outside. These people have to be fought against actively we have to actively approach them and interrupt their stupidity because they're actually actively attacking us you know we have to retaliate it's just the only way and it's not revenge it's retaliation it's to prove that you exist and you want them to go away basically just that simple so when a policeman comes to me and says, oh, you're taking revenge. I'm not taking revenge, I'm actively fighting for, for people to shut the fuck up eventually and stop their fucking noise. It's not shut the fuck up, but like, I don't hear them talking. But it's bad enough, bro, of how they act. And the deeper we go into darkness, the the less people want to interact with each other because that's another problem. Because there's another side to it. There's introverts, you know. Introverts 
don't want phone calls. But then how do you stay or keep them connected? The only thing they have is just throw them into a doctor's office and prescribe medication. That's what they do with introverts. Period. Because everyone's negative, everyone's fucking obsessed about, oh, you did something wrong? You must be a fucking insane person. And that's how we're going to deal with it. You know? And then you go insane. Because, like, you just can't control yourself. There's, there's no social pressure anymore. There's no, like, actual mob mentality of trying to stop negativity. It's the only mob mentality that works. Weeding things out. Not cancel culture, but morality culture. Just morally understanding that something is bad and you push that shit away. Being able to evaluate properly what is good and bad. And that shit's very complicated. That every single person has to learn and contribute at the same time to this whole thing. And uh, it's called just contributing feelings. Someone disliking me, I'm like, sure, whatever, bro. I don't know who you are, guys. I don't know what this mob is made out of. I'm made out of a bunch of garbage, basically. That you deserve your own dislikes, but you gave it to me. So that's, that sounds pretty fucking cool, you know? You deserve to keep your dislike to yourself. You dislike yourself all the way, bro. Just gave it to me. Right. It is quite an experiment of like allowing people to phone call you because. Oh, another thing that tops everything so far. Fucking Mark Passio phone calls. The ultimate meme of how sometimes just difficult it is to have a phone call. Just how difficult to establish a fucking... this microphone work or not? Oh, it's not working right now. Unmute yourself. From your end. From my end. What's going on, Be So difficult. It, it's so weird. You have to collect phone calls, you have to establish a connection, you have to double check the connection. Wow! So much work to be done. To be able to have a phone call. Only... You should only be doing it if you're desperate, like for sure. There's just one, one reason to do bullshit in the first place. One exception for bullshit. Desperation. NPCs quickly figure out that as long as they're desperate, they can do whatever the fuck they want. As long as they're desperate, as long as, as they're doing it very reasonably, and they're running full speed, and they're shitting out babies and they want to be millionaires and all that shit like they can be desperate and they can do whatever they want but the moment they slow down someone's gonna knock their shit out bro holy crap we're making bullshit all over the place that's the way npcs survive in this world and that's the way we can hunt them down because they have to be fucking hunted them down this is the only way i will survive if i will for dates on the goddamn pathetic NPCs. Just to see who's who's slow. Slow enough to get their ass kicked. And their shit taken away. Now that's a pretty good scam. Allowing things to happen. Allowing pe people to phone call you. It's a... Uh, it might just backfire to them instead. Allow people to do bullshit and just ask them. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you're that desperate? Because most people are not. Obviously not. They're just very good at pretending. For as long as it takes almost. Pretending as long as it takes. As long as the investigation is on their fucking... Uh, on their heads. As long as they have bounty. But, you know, the, the better we become, the more moral we become, the people who watch my channel and try to keep up with morality and understanding life's principles, 
the easier for us to fucking get get them cracked and more submissive. We can establish like some kind of justice for ones. Because my life is still pretty complicated, bro. Yeah, it feels like you can just work your way out. And I do. That is work. Self-defense, basically. From this kind of bullshit. I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with phone calls now? When am I going to fucking use them? Because every single time it's so painful. Like, it solves so many problems, but I can't do it. I don't have a skill. And I've done it. One time, it was such a fucking cringe moment. I was kind of going mad and I uh, called a social worker and guess what happened? She pretended that the connection was falling apart and she did not want to talk to me. Hey guys, oh my god, I can't make this video anymore. We're disconnecting, guys. My internet is. I don't know, I'll find excuses, guys, to end this conversation. What the fuck is that, right? That's just another desperate NPC behavior. And we're we're kind of getting somewhere, isn't it? And uh, sometimes NPCs can turn their desperation into pure madness. The most mad you're going to become if you're desperate about doing some evil things, right? It's fine. You're desperate. But if you're evil, it's a whole nother level. It's a fucking demon battle, basically. Again, phone calls make me really uncomfortable. And uh, I just, like, want to get away from that. I want to have an opportunity to stop all of this and establish something different. Because it's possible. People can't even just get, like, how, how do they handle phone calls when they can't even handle messages? They can't even handle messages, bro. They can't even fucking take it. Yes, it's easier. It's easier to do a phone call. Well, guess what else happens when you do a phone call? I'm doing a phone call right now to whoever is listening. Phone calls make noise. Unfortunately, my friends, if you haven't fucking noticed, it's noise. I have to deal with my mom's no noise when she's calling through a phone. She's still talking. I still can hear her, and now I have to worry about it. There's no fucking escape. You know, that's the most powerful thing we can do as humans, is make noise. It's really annoying, bro. It's the most hurtful thing and has a pretty fucking high range. And high range of expression. Or variety of pain that can be emitted, basically, through noise. Now, when you live in apartments, noise becomes the booms. Talking through walls, basically. But yeah, phone calls make the most noise. Unless you compare it with a fucking party, which is a whole nother level of bullshit, am I right? A party? You can imagine again, Mr. Beast and a lot of uh, extroverted people are so-called extroverted. They have to deal with a lot of phone calls. They just have to send a lot, communicate with a lot of people to connect and collaborate and uh, help them do things. They might receive phone calls and all that shit. I can't imagine the world like that. I, I want things to slow down. But again, you can see that the only justifiable cause is desperation, desperate 
desperation to do something, to work towards something. But then you're gonna achieve it one day, right? Right? You're gonna start slowing down and start listening to me now, right? There's another bullshit. And it's all, all connected, basically. So, would you call for food delivery? Or send information? It was proven scientifically, by the way. Which one to choose? Obviously, don't just call the food fast food place. You send them an order. There's apps for that. There's there's things established for that. Big machines that collect your information and like someone comes after you, bro, to deliver your order. The way you you programmed it. You put actual brain cells into it. But like, when you call, neither you nor the receiver are gonna have enough brain cells to process what exactly you want. You know, so you have to be double checked of like, is this what you want? Really? When you send an order like it, you can customize as you can see extra options. Like, it's much better. If you can achieve that level, you will stop phone calls. The phone calls will stop because there's a much better way to do things, much more precise. You would only phone call if you want something special, if you have an a actual question to ask. You know, that's when you would phone call potentially, but you could still send a message. Right? It should still be established. If there's something missing, though, you can make a phone call. You can feel confidence in doing so. Something missing. You're suspicious about something. You want to complain about something. You want to talk to a real person, not a robot. I understand. But when it comes to sending information, nah, bro. Sending generic information and establishing something? Oh, this better not be a fucking phone call, bro. It pisses me off every single time. My mom was receiving a phone calls from a woman every single day until I had to decide to, like, block her, basically. Because it was obviously disgusting and pointless and a waste of time and a waste of my nerves. But now I have to deal with neighbors. How do I call them in the first place? You know, how do I call my neighbor? Is a phone phone call so cool? You know, but you can only call a handful of people. Mainly police. Wow, so fucking cool, man. Just call one one thing. What what's the point of that shit, bro? I'm not gonna learn anything if I only have one option. For a lot of people, phone call means one option. It's crazy. You will never learn. If I cannot turn a phone call into a pleasure, pleasurable experience or a pleasant experience, I will never learn how to fucking do it. I will never know what to expect from people in the first place. I will not be able to extend my reasoning of why should I call someone and who I can call. If I only have one option, that's gonna look like a fucking wall to me. And I will turn around and look for something else to do. Yes, when you present it with one option, it's called stare at the wall. I'm putting work, bro. 
and people still fucking have esteem of like, oh, I have disliked that video just like everyone else did. That's crazy, guys. That's so crazy. I guess you negated all my efforts. How cool is that? Or we can just call it vandalism and stop fucking doing that already. It's easy to, for them to imagine that they can defeat me when I attack someone, when I have a target. They can just attack me instead. Because they're doing exactly the same thing as I'm doing. It's just repeating what I'm doing. But much worse. Because they don't know how to fucking do anything. But when I attack them, they don't understand what to do anymore. They're just like, what? They just disappear. They get destroyed. Or become just aggressive enough to where you can't attack them because they're too pathetic. Too tiny. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool principle. Just stare at the stars. And it will keep reaching for it. And maybe you'll get opportunities eventually. To bounce from one star to the other. Elevate yourself. Stars are there put by other people through a lot of efforts. It's not a fucking joke that anyone can just do. You know, like it's it's hard enough to get a million views. And might still not make you a star. It might just be one hit. And you will start falling down. But one thing is certain, you definitely cannot call stars. Uh, you can't just phone call these guys. And uh, you will definitely not uh, find a reason to do so in, in the first place. What are you going to talk about it with them? What are you going to report to them? Why should they talk to you? Right? That's why you can't. That's the whole point. So that's kind of cool, right? But you can sort of message them, though. You can leave them a message. Which they can open at any moment. And that's kind of fast. Uh, there's a comment section, basically. It's not called phone call section. So in a way, we could treat each other as celebrities too. Where we should not just be able to phone call each other as if we're equal. And very close. We can treat each other as celebrities. I'm like, well, we don't have time for each other, but... What do you think about this thing? It's the most respectable thing to do. When you send a mes message to the stars, you expect something to happen. Many things happen that I consider glitches. Especially with Ari, bro. Like, that's, that was some crazy shit. So, uh... And I was... I'm sending messages across, like, YouTube, right? With my thumbnails alone. It's a big deal. Maybe she's paying attention. Maybe she's watching every single move I make. Who knows, bro? It's a weird world out there. And I am interesting enough to experience something like this. Because I still have to struggle in life where everyone else is happy. You know? To avoid bullshit. So happy that they can afford being negative in life. Where I'm just like, I am I get crippled anytime I get a negativity to take over my life. Like, it's the worst feeling. Bro. I feel negative when I can't express myself alone. Not to mention... Anytime something goes fucking viral, when it's drama, like people trying to shut you up, like, what's the point, bro? So yeah, in a way for me, like, it, it feels like people just want to put you in an uncomfortable situation and pretend that you're going to be learning from that. Sure, it's going to be uncomfortable enough when people ask me to have a phone call with them. Fucking sex feels more natural than a phone call. Holy shit, man. Because 
there's only also a handful of things you can even do and talk about in the first place. You know, if you're not collecting information, you're not gathering information, it's so, there's so little you can fucking do. Another best phone call was with a girl, with a sweet girl, who wanted to just show things, show herself. I didn't show myself because it's just fucking cringe. But I was able to drag her into a phone call and she responded to that. But it's just so annoying. I mean, still was pretty good experience. And so she started showing her plushies and fucking the horny mentality that she's in. And I'm like, well, I guess we have seen enough, you know. What are you even gonna talk about in this ridiculous speed? But people disrespect anything that's slow. This message, fucking disrespect that shit. It's so painful to me, right? And then they don't even know how to communicate. Where like I put efforts. If I don't receive anything back, it's pure rejection. It's pure pain and suffering, basically. I have to give you something and I receive you something from you. Or you just disappear from the fucking platform because you lost. You know, even that's like, that's just unfair. People don't know how to message. Can we learn that first? You know, there's actual principles of messaging. Because, yeah, it's it's uncomfortable when a, one person is trying to carry the whole conversation. It's not easy, bro. But then, who cares? You just move on. They're not good enough for you. So, I have to be very careful. At any moment, internet can change and allow me to have my way. But right now, it's the way of the phone call. So it has to mean something. It has to have deeper meaning. What the fuck phone call means? It's almost like a waiting game, right? A waiting game where you're waiting for something bad to happen, and then you can have your phone call. Because you're desperate. Or uh, find someone's phone call and then be able to call them because you're desperate, because you care about them. It's a tough one. I'm not gonna, you're not gonna find me desperate. Holy shit. I will have feelings, but I'll be able to, you know, deal with those feelings. If you don't fucking receive my messages, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be more desperate to call you. Because it's a painful experience. It's a cool test. Absolutely. You can drag something out of a person. You can get something by almost by force. But still, you have to get their phone number. So, uh, good luck. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a half and a half of a pickup artistry of just forcing a girl to give... For her to give her phone number. Just forcing her to do it. You'll still get rejected most of the time. But at least you got a phone number. So you get 90% of rejection, you get a phone number. You get 90 more percent of rejection. Past that point, you might get a, a date. And it's just like you climbing a fucking steep mountain right here. It's crazy, bro. I don't know how, how people do it. Because they don't fucking do it through phone calls. Holy shit. At least not anymore. Or they shouldn't be doing it through, through phone calls. But just mutual connections, that's it, bro. Just expand your friends list, just be more social, and you're gonna be sucked into the vortex of people's interest, you know? Because the more you're interested in, in this world right now, the way it works, the more you're interested, the more people interested in you, the more people will continue being interested in you. As if there's enough for everyone. It's crazy, bro. 
This is why fuckboys exist. Because women genuinely believe that one fuckboy is good enough for like a hundred women out there. <laughs> so many people want him. He looks so fucking precious, you know? Like, we have to fuck him. Because that's gonna do something. That's gonna achieve something, right? Still gonna be a pretty steep hill to climb because you have to look pretty enough yourself. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people operate this world. Oh wait, I do know. Through desperation and pure speed. And then they crash real hard. Because uh, there's only so far you can go with this strategy. Until you're left behind and alone. Or wasted. Or can't keep up anymore. Or you have achieved your goals. Many, many reasons to crash and burn. I hope you feel that this economy is also crashing and burning. Because economy was established through addiction, through consumerism, and not principles of any kind. We just like pumping money and dumping on society. And you'll figure out the rest, you know. For a very long time, society was figuring things out because we need things. You know, we need to buy food, get food, establish yourself, shelter, sell shelters to other people, establish businesses and all that shit. But now we have those things and things don't work anymore. A lot of business needs phone calls for some reason to operate the office spaces. How many phone calls have you done? How many people have you intimidated to purchase goods and all that shit it's kind of shutting down this whole mentality because influencers are taking over and influencers don't operate through phone calls that one thing that one sacred thing that makes youtube so appealing so i'm not gonna receive phone calls by using youtube holy shit notification is as close as we're gonna get but i'm not clicking that fucking bell button notification get the fuck out of here just as big of a bullshit as phone calls are. To subscribe to notifications like, nah bro. Whenever I need something, I will have my subscription box. I have my... The post office mailbox, okay? I will collect some mail, I will look at my fucking mail. And that's, that's it bro, I will collect it. Notifications? The moment they happen, I have to respond. That's bullshit, bro. So, yeah. Most phone calls are not urgent. Yet, they need to be urgently picked up. Which makes no fucking sense. It's a pure disconnection between that. Hopefully you can pick it up. I don't even have a phone, by the way. Isn't that fucking cool? I don't have a phone. My mom has two phones, so I can technically borrow her phone if I need to call emergency or whatever. But I'm I'm not doing that shit for noise. Because I, I can barely give a coherent explanation of what the fuck's going on. Because all I hear is just boom, 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 bro. Very late at night, too disgusting from two sources i can't just call police bro and even then uh 90 percent of the time i see phone calls fail miserably and it's so sad it could have been so much better we would have not wasted time with this at all we could just stop it right now this extroverted bullshit if you're genuinely doing hard work, yeah, maybe you will learn how to do phone calls. I can definitely learn how to respond to people delivering goods to me, delivering services and all that shit. I can respond to that. I can open the phone. Uh, I can respond to the phone call and be like, oh, do you have the thing? Should I come down now? I can, I can talk like that. This is as much as I can do, though. What 
This shit is not for little children to play with, to say the least. You know, the best horror stories start with phone calls, I imagine. See you guys next time.